I am Chandra, the Fly Two Fit Chick, and you Fly. are hashtag Fly Your Strong. Great. I can't wait to see you. Later, Flyers. Welcome. I'm Chandra the Fly to Fish Shit. 30 minutes start now. Hey, Flyers. Hey, Flyers. Hey, Flyers. Hey, 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 hey. I'm kind of ready. You ready? March. Can I tell y'all something? I am really, like, for real, for real, having fun with editing these captions. The things that it, it thinks that I'm saying is, I think I want to just do like a, a caption workout, like just work out like regular, right? But don't edit them so you can see, oh my goodness, it's like having a blooper um, set, march. Let's do some half jacks. We have not done them in a while. You ready? Let's go. <clears throat> I'm like, but it takes me like a very long time to do that. And I see that I'll be missing some, so. I'm taking my time and go through them. Who's no longer on call? I don't know. I'm just going to say she has on black and pink. <clears throat> Woo! Okay. Let's go in the front. Halfway. Come on. I keep saying, but I haven't done it. We're going to work on some steps. Getting our steps in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then... I did. Back up. I'm like, I thought I'd talk more than that. Perspective. I don't know. <clears throat> but then, it's a lot in front. Anywho, how y'all feeling? I woke up this morning like, I didn't, Whew. all right, March, I woke up this morning like, I'm just going to work out when I get off work, when I get off work, I'm going to work out, and the Lord said to me, Girl, if you don't get up and go in that studio this morning, you are going to be mad with yourself. And I said, say less. And I'm here before work. 
because <coughs> I didn't get to sleep until maybe 11 with the editing and I don't want to take the captions away because I like them it's cute you know since I don't have March since I don't have a lot um you know I'm building right and I see some pages and they have like a little timer and then they I don't have all that tap 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 so are you just tapping with a bicep curl I'm like I don't have all that so and guess what I don't need it, but I want to have it because it's cute. <clears throat> but until I get it, I like the little captions with that pop of color. <clears throat> it's just a lot of work. However, we're just going to do this until the sun goes out. Now, March, let me get some water. Oh man, it's only been six minutes. Let me move up right here. It's cute. So, our four corners. One, one, up, back. To the right, to the left, to the front, to the back. Now dip, 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 baby. No, we're not dipping. We just... <laughs> we just. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel good. You know what? I don't know if you've ever felt this way, but I feel like a joyful cry. Like I'm not sad. I just feel. I just feel it right in my spirit. That I just want to laugh and cry. I just really feel good. Okay. So, let's talk about... Uh, let me... Let's talk about how we look. Okay, how we look and how we think people see us. All right, you got it. So, we, how we look and how we think people see us. What's more important? What people see or what you see. So, let's just, let's just go back, back down memory lane. Save me, save me. Busting out, girl. Just come on. No, you can't hold that note. With all this walking, you can't hold a diaphragm in. Ha! <laughs> if you constantly base how you look, how you feel, what you want to see on what someone else thinks, You will never be authentically and unapologetically you. You will always be a version of that person 
that judge you openly, open in lean. Why well, can't say that word? Openly. How can I say it? All right, come back. March. So, we're gonna twist, lower, then knee up, twist again. So, twist, 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 twist. Come on. So, you have to, you're not gonna please everyone, right? And I say this, I am 56. I learned this lesson late in life because I was always a loner as a young child. One, my asthma kept me in and away from activities. So, we were poor, happy, so they didn't know that my asthma wasn't going to kill me, but they just didn't know how to find something for me. So my best friends were my grandparents. and. I didn't, I wasn't outside. Because a lot of times I get so excited. I don't know how I got on this story, but oh, I know how. So it wasn't that I was sheltered, I was living in fear. Very early age. Before I could run, I heard, Chandra, you're going to die. One more. Walk. I heard I was going to die. Too hot. You can't go outside, you're gonna die. You can't run, you're gonna die. You can't ride your bike, you're gonna die. You can't go in the water, you're gonna die. If I start coughing or couldn't breathe, then I tell you, you can die. It was always, <clears throat> and they didn't know, right? Black family, Inglewood, got a child that's asthmatic. All they wanted me to do was live, but they didn't realize by having this, I don't know what, over me, that it like, the trajectory of my life was different. March to the beat. Pick it up. Go. So, I didn't have a lot of friends. I had my cousins when they came over. And then my dad, he was different on the weekends. You know, he was like, go outside. Got me a skating board. Did I have like bats? Yeah, I did. Did I die? No. So, now, come over. The one side of your room or your space. Now, pick it up to the side. Right here, go. To the beat. So, it was like, 
it was like uh, I had two different I can't explain it especially with my parents and my daddy would be like this is my mama your mama rules you at my house and my mama like your daddy don't know what he's talking about you need to baby but it was awesome I think having those two different perspectives, I know having those two different perspectives shaped me where I can be balanced. Come back here, March, bring it down. Now, Step. Boom. Woo. Make me feel like I'm footworking. So because of that, as an adult, I wanted to have friends. I wanted to belong to something. I wanted, now, you step it to the side, right? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. You got it. So, and it's an eight count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, back. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Boom. Let's go. Your core is what? Engage. So, as an adult, I didn't know how to really be around people that wasn't my family, right? March, I didn't know how to because my circle were my first cousins, my mom, my dad, my grandparents. That was it. So, and then I was a straight nerd. I'm still a nerd now, but I'm okay with it now. Now, I want us to kind of dance. So you know how we was going out? I just want us, whoo, whoo. come on. You just stepping out, bring that whole body out. I think this is a cute song. Whoo. So, just being awkward. And I wanted to fit in. You know, I was teased because my hair wouldn't grow. <clears throat> they had songs about me. I was bullied. Like, I be seeing some of these stories because I'm a uh, crime drama. Now stop. Grapevine. I'm a, uh, a crime drama kind of sore of sorts. Okay. Don't get on my forensic skills. Okay. Mitochondrial D DNA. Sorry. We had a serious 
So, I, uh, it was just a lot. But I see some of these people, and it was like, well, he had a childhood, and he was bullied and thrown in a trash can, and, and his mother was an alcoholic, and, and he, and then he went through this, and judge just, can you show him mercy? And I'm like, dude, we had the same life. Really? I'm not out here. Nobody. All right. Come on now. Not that my life. Didn't nobody tell me that was Lady Gaga that put it in the garbage can. I'm just saying. We all have stuff. Come here. We all have stuff. Okay? So. Let me walk. So, I say that to say, it was rough out here for a sister. So I just wanted to fit in. I just wanted to be accepted and to be wanted. And whatever my friends liked, that was my life. I'm a researcher by profession with compliance. Let me, I can put this, I can be that. I can be that and I can be a good friend. I can be that and I can be the best friend ever. I can be that, right? So, now, I want us to do Some lateral lunges with a knee and then we're gonna come and we're gonna do a squat with a tap all right so let's do the lateral lunge first seven to one side step over to the back bring the knee up we're only gonna do four one more. So, I had to realize at a young age, well, an older age, that I would never be enough for anyone until I'm enough for myself. Four more. Think about that. That was deep. I would never be enough for anyone until I'm enough for myself. So sister, sister girl wouldn't sit on somebody's couch. One more. And <clears throat> came out, this is my brand new coat. And uh, and uh, one more so now this is how to squat you know how we jump right so instead of jumping squat tap tap up meet me here So, and I take that attitude with everything that I do. I have to be enough for me. I love the fact that when I went and someone sat on someone's couch, I met my husband a year later. I had to spend time alone with myself. Whew. 
baby. Can't tell. Three more. One more. Whew. Get some water on that one. So. However, I had to do the work so I know what I do, I do, right, for me. Now, I said all that to say this. This is your workout, all right? You may just want to hear me talk. That's fine. What I want you to do is take this and make something for yourself, right? You want to go faster than what I'm doing? You want to go a little longer? You want to add something else to it? Do it. All right? So. We only got four minutes. So. I want us to drink with me. We're going to walk diagonal, and walk in the middle, and when we hit every corner, do four jogs, four taps, four uh, runners, however you're going to do it, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, what I want you to do while you are working out while you are coming up with your eating plan that works for you while you do all these things love who you are now love who you are now compliment what you see now compliment it because this is the thing you the one that did it, right? Something allowed you to do that, right? Compliment her, compliment him, compliment him, compliment him. Always, I can't look in the mirror and not uh, say how cute I am or Or uh, say something nice about myself. And it's not because of the work I've done. It's because of the work I continue to do. But I realized something when I started doing this. I was saying so many negative things. Oh, let me eat this fat girl food. But I was spelling fat, P-H-A-T. Baby, the things we do. Stay here. We only got a minute and 25 left. Let's just dance it out. Dance it out. I do the same dance. Dance. What you drinking? So, what I do, you and me, 
Hey! You and me. Hey! Compliment what you see. Because I can't help it. Hey! I can't help it, baby. Hey! Until you get where you're going, compliment yourself. Love yourself. Speak it. Speak it. I was looking at my, uh, what I call my waves, looking at my stomach. I was like, okay, girl. All right. Oh, the work is showing. Oh, that is so cute. Is it flat? No. Will it be? Yeah. Yeah. Until it get there? Baby. Ah, oh, I just feel good. I think I'm gonna cry. I can't help it. Okay. I gotta get ready to go to work. However, I mean, I was looking. Let me show you. Y'all see this? You see that? You see how it's coming in? I'm like, ooh, look. Ah! Ah! So, ah! Ah! I'm not going to cry on camera. I'm going to cry in the car. I'm going to cry in the car. So, when I was setting up everything before before I put uh, Never Say Monday on. Because I'm like, it's Monday. Let me put on my Never Say Monday. Even though you, you all going to see this tomorrow. <coughs> um, I was like, oh. Because when I got up, I was like, okay, girl. We got to get this together. Come on. You got it. But then when I was looking, I'm like, okay. That's what you do. Speak it. It's going to be what it needs to be. But until we get there, love on you. Find something, and it should not be hard to love about how you look right now. Find something to love about how you look right now. Find something. I remember I'm purposely not wearing shoes because I didn't feel like putting anything on. And then I wanted to be cute. You know, I got the pink. Because when I put my feet, you're not going to be able to see it. And sometimes you can be cute while you work out and sweating. Why not? Okay? So, but it was a time where I couldn't put shoes on because my feet were so swollen and so big. And I'd be like, I know your feet hurt. I was like, but girl, when we get through doing this workout, we're going to go get a cute pedicure and you're going to love it. You know, and... And it just helped me. It just, it's just truly, it was something that I needed to do. I needed to, to be that, that uh, motivational speech that I was looking for. I needed to, to, to speak it to these ankles and calves, right? To these feet. I had to find something. So what I want you to do is please don't, yeah, <clears throat> I'm, I'm just having a fat girl moment. I'm having a big boy moment. You know, my husband say something, I'm like, babe, don't speak that. Don't, don't speak that. If you want to speak it, please don't speak it around me. You have to start speaking life, okay? Speak life over your body, all right? In your present circumstances and how you look now, find something and celebrate it. You are here, right? There is something that you can say good about yourself. There is something you can say good about yourself. Even though we're here in this space and we're working towards something, right now is still something we can say that is good about us. Okay? 
So that's what that that that's our assignment. That's our weekly assignment. I didn't give us one for the last two weeks. Your weekly assignment is to find something each and every day about you and about in your current situation and your current stage of health and um, fitness and and whatever to compliment yourself about something. All right. While we work on everything. Okay. That's all I want to say. And with me talking, guess what? We've already come, come, cooled down. If you want to stretch, you can. Um, but I, I'm going to close it out with the message. Yeah, my, my, uh, yeah, <laughs> my, uh, my Apple Watch said, uh, are you still, are you still working out or not? So, do not base your appearance on how someone else is seeing you. Do not allow someone else's words to affect and redirect who you are. All right? I know it may be hard. No, I know it is hard. Because they say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Words will cut so deep that you can't see where to put the bandage, right? You don't know where, to, where, 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 where's the scar at, right? Words do hurt and words can hurt and words have the, but what you have to do, what you have to do is to counter that. You gotta counter it and you gotta speak something else over you. Please, please, please. Learn the lessons that brought me here. I had to realize that no matter what they thought of me, no matter what and how much I wanted to belong, I never was going to be enough for those people, right? I am enough for some, but not all, and those definitely not, okay? I don't have a circle, I have a line. I can look down my line. I'm not looking in the circle, right? I'm not gonna try to make you fit me, okay? Walk in your purpose, speak in your purpose, live in your purpose, all right? And go and tell somebody you love them. I don't care who it is. But tell yourself first. Boom. All right. I'm gone. I didn't mean to be preachy preachy. I really didn't. I meant to tell the asthma story when I was in the eighth grade or the seventh grade. But we got here. Flying, oh, flying, because flying. I saw my little, my little, my little, my little faux pack. My, my cute little faux pack that's coming on the side. I love y'all. I got to go. I got to get ready for work. Okay. Have an awesome, awesome Tuesday. All right. Be, uh, have an awesome Tuesday. Have a great afternoon and a great evening. And I'll see you here tomorrow. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and come back for more of your girl. The Fly to Fit Chick. I am Chandra. I am out. You are hashtag Flyer Strong. I love you so much. Be peace. Be love. Be great. Later, Flyers.